cool. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Moon Studio Cool Peak. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging right up front here, we have a nice image of Cool Peak in both of his modes. His name is Cool Peak. On this side we have Cool Peak. On this side we have Cool Peak up top. Cool Peak, Radiotron on the bottom. Nothing on the back of the box. Obligatory product shots and warning. Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have Cool Peak, the next component of Moon Studios Radiotron, their take on Raiden, and this is their take on Saison. And again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the names, doing my best here. But yes, here we have Cool Peak in his robot mode as he is packed, and uh, yeah, I really like the design on this guy. I think he looks quite, quite cool. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his crotch, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. Very nice head sculpt there. Nice bright metallic blue there for the eyes. You got silver there for the mouth plates. Some gray there for the head crust. Got some dark gray in there. Some dark grays and blacks. You got some metallic reds in there. Just some little highlights here and there. Some more grays. But yeah, overall, a pretty nice design. His big old feet, um, the thighs. Alright, die cast. So as always, these guys have a little bit of die cast in them. Gives them a little bit of heft. They have the back of the legs. Got a little bit of a backpack going on, but all in all, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you get all the wiggly waggly. You can look up, do total squirrel. Can look down a lot. Um, his head is on a double hinge here, so you can actually have him moving down even more. Head can do a full 360. The arms can do a full 360 in and out. And one thing that is annoying is that you can see this shoulder piece tabs in right here. It's not the most secure connection, so we want to move his arm. Nine times out of ten, that's going to come untabbed, so that's a bit annoying. But the arms can move out. At this hinge here, you do have rotation at the bicep. You have a nice deep bend there at the elbow. Um, as far as the hands go, you do have wrist rotation. You have the posable fingers. Um, the thumb is on a ball joint at the base and a hinge there. And all of the fingers are on a ball joint at the base, but you don't get too much of a splay or anything. They're pretty much restricted to that little bit of movement there. And you also have a hinge right there. He does have waist rotation, and if you undo this clip right here, you get ab crunch, which is nice. Just clip that back in. You can move these panels out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You get the full splits. You do have thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. As far as the feet go, uh, no upward and downward, um, not really. You can, if you move this out of the way, you kind of get a little bit of a toe joint going on, but really, all you get is some ankle tiltage. Um, if you bring the foot down, I mean, granted it is on a double hinge, you can get some up and down there, but again, just due to the blocky nature of the shin here, you don't get too much range of movement, but a little bit, a little bit extra. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his blaster here, just done in black, with a little bit of red there. I quite like the design of this gun. Looks cool. Um, you get the magnetized coupling here for the train mode. And you also get this piece right here, which is more for combined mode. But you can open this up. That just plays out like so. Just done. In gray, with that little bit of red in there. See the inside is done in black, so that means all of this is paint. So, we have that going on right there. Now we can store the gun on his person. We have these two tabs right back here. And you have slots on either side of the backpack section here. So you can just take that and just line it up. And plug it in, plug it in. And there you go. You can have that stored right back there, like so. 
But of course, you can't have him holding the gun. There is a tab in his palm, slot right here on either side of the handle. And you just tab that in, and you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. You can also store uh, this piece right here. You can open it up like so. I think it's quite tight. There we go. Open that up. And the instructions want you to remove this little section here. So, so light. And then just use the post and the port, and you can just plug that back there for storage. Because, hey, things you can do if you want to do it. I don't know then where this goes because this doesn't really fit. In these ports. Not really. Not really. Seems like it should, but not really. Uh, kinda. There we go. <laughs> I guess that's what you would do with that. The instructions don't say what to do with that after you take it out. So, you know, uh, figure it out. You can figure it out. As you can see, this is not all that snug in there. It, it falls out pretty easily. But again, it's storage if you want storage. So there you have that. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with MP44, so you can see how that works out. And here he is with the rest of the team. We still have one more to go, but so far the set is looking very, very good. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, to get him into train mode, first thing we're going to do... So open up this panel, flip in the hand, close that up, open up the panel, flip in the hand, and close that up. Next we're going to come up here, and we are going to untab the shoulder sections here. Uh, actually what we can do first is we can open up the chest, we can flip out these panels here, which are quite snug on my copy. Come on. There we go. They've actually loosened up a little bit. They were super tight when I took them out of the box. But you can do that. And then we can just close this right back up. These little shoulder pauldrons. You can just rotate forward. And the head is going to shift forward on this double hinge. Be careful because you can pop his head off the ball joint if you're not careful. There we go. Shift that forward. So it's sitting like that. So bring the arms out. The shoulder itself is on a double hinge here. That's just going to rotate back like that. Once you've done that, you have this little panel here. You want to flip out. Again, I take some doing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Flip that out. And there we go. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Second verse is like the first. Rotate that back. Come in here. Flip out that panel. Flippy flip. And there we go. At this point now, we can just take the arms. Oh, there's also these little panels here. I always forget. Little panels back here. This one, I want to untab and flip out. Now we can just bring the arms up like that. And we need to rise up here. Rotate the forms around. Got these panels here. There's actually two panels that you want to flip out. And you have these little panels here, a lot of panels, in case you haven't noticed. Already a lot of panels. Flip these little panels out. Flip that out. Do the same thing on the other side. Untab all this. Untab all that. And flip it out. Flip it out. Flip it out. There we go. Like that. And then you're going to bring the arms down. And this tab will go into this slot right here. Just line that up. And that'll tab right in. Ah. I'll line up. And tab right in like so. So once we have done that, you can just interlock all of these panels here like so. This panel here you want to leave up because we're not securing that yet. They could bring this down. You have a tab slot connection right here on either side. And you got that situated. So now we can take this, untab all of this, and bring this up. It's on a slider as well, so make sure it's pulled all the way out. And these panels here, these little panels here you want to flip in. Just make life easier again, just up and over. And that will just tab in right here on either side. 
like so. And then once you've done that, you can flip these panels back out and fill that in like that. This section here will come up on double hinge, tab that in, flip out the wheels. If you want to use a little retaining tab here to hold the wheels in place, you can. I never bother with these, honestly, but you can if you want to, but you can flip those down. Keep those wheels in place. They stay in fine anyway, because those hinges are super stiff, but it's always do what you want. Then you have these black panels here. You're just going to flip out on either side like that. And once you've done that, this whole front section here, was the top section rather, oops, you stay. This bit right here is going to come up on this double hinge and you have these two posts which will go into these two ports right here. So make sure you have everything lined up just right. And it helps to try to tab in one side. Because the thing is too is that these, these wiggle around. They don't actually lock in when you flip the hands in, so it's easy to have them out of whack and have things not be aligned. And that can be annoying. I can get the one side in, but I can't get the other side in because the other side, the tab, I mean, the, uh, the post wants to move around on me. There we go. There we go. I can just push this down. And there we pretty much have the front of the train all done. So now that we have done that, we can move down to the lower body. Let's see, he's got some fingers hanging out back there. That's where the combined mode hand stores. It's pretty clever. But anyway, let's get on down to the legular region. So what we're gonna do here, gonna come back here, we're going to take the suction rotate this out to the side. You want to take the foot, also bring that out. You can bring it down also on those double hinges. You want to take the toe, bring it down, and then just rotate it up and in like so. The section here with the wheels, just rotate this down. And then you can slide the leg back like that, which will free up this. You can bring that up. This old black panel, you're gonna flip that in this black panel here. You're going to rotate up, and once you've done that, you can collapse the whole leg in like that. So once you've done that, you can bring this back in, and then you're going to rotate this up and over, and you want these hinges oriented just like this. And this will just notch in right underneath this right here. So, tab in, and that will look like that when it's all said and done. So once you've done that, this panel here flips up, and you have this little panel here, which will also flip up. It will sit in front of it, and then you can just kind of bring this all down, line it all up, and push it in like so. Bring out the wheel, and there you have that side all done, and the second verse, guess what, is just like the first. And now that both halves are done, you just take it all together, like so, get it all nice and squoze, and of course these wheel sections here are going to interlock, which can be a pain in the bootox, a major pain in the bootox. But it's doable. It's doable. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Hooray! So there you go. We got the interlock again. You want to flip down that little retaining tab. You can do it. I don't bother with them. But there we go. So get all nice and squozen like. And we're pretty much at the home stretch here. So you want to take this panel, you want to bring it down just about halfway. And then untab it, and then swing it in, and it's gonna sit behind these two black panels, and that's why you have it swinged in only halfway. Then you can swing it out once you have it tabbed in. Then you can bring it out the rest of the way. It just makes life a little bit easier to get everything situated there. And same thing on the other side, just bring it down like halfway, bring that down, and tab that in. Then you can bring that out. And couple more little steps we have to do is just 
secure this panel. Now you have tabs that are going to go underneath this panel here. So you want to bring this down at an angle so that will sit in underneath like so. Then you can bring that down, use those tab slot connections on either side to get that in place like that. And then this section here will just shift over on a double hinge and sit right there like so and i think we're done are we done yes we're done Woo, we're done and there you go there you have a cool peak in his train mode not too bad of a spin but there he is good looking train mode and once you got it all together it is nice and solid and yeah i dig it i dig it but let's get in close here so we can take a look that's the details. You see that cockpit section there. You can see the silver trim around the tinted transparent windows there. You got the yellow, you got red. Got the headlights done in that dark transparent plastic as well. Just got the red stripe going down the side here. All the windows done in that tinted transparent plastic. And you have these bits here done in Shilva. In the back. You got some nice detailing there, even windshield wipers that are picked out in silver paint. But overall, very, very nicely done. There is the top, there is the bottom. You have visible finger syndrome. I mean, hey, it's there. Anyway, of course, you have the rolling wheels. These can rotate nicely. You can have this thing going pretty much any direction. He can roll as rolling things should and tip over and roll and tip over as trains should roll and tip over. And for comparison, here he is with MP44 Prime, just so you can see how that works out. And here he is with the rest of the team, so you can see how they are looking so far. And they look quite good together, quite, quite good together, so there you go. Now, as far as weapon storage goes, you can store the gun. You have uh, these slots right here on either side of the gun. You're going to use these tabs here, and you can just... Plug it in, plug it in, and have the gun stored underneath, like so. As far as this bit goes, you can open it up, and you have these two tabs right here, which are going to go into these two slots right at the top. So you can just line that up, and again, just plug it in, plug it in, like so. And now you have a train with wings, because why not? Dare I say, why not? And of course, you can use the coupling. You have a post in the front, you have a post in the back, and you can connect all of your trains together if that's a thing you want to do. They did do it in the show also, but hey, again, things you can do if you want to do it. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. So that is basically it for the train mode. So let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Let's get a better spin that time. Why not? Why not? So anyway, so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come to these panels and pop all this back up. Get this up, get this out of the way. You can bring this panel in a bit. So you can swing this out, tab it in, get this panel back up. Same thing on the other side, just pop this in a little bit so you can kind of swing that out, tab that in, flip that up, and we'll just leave that alone for now. We're going to work on the front section first. So you want to undo this bit here, fold the wheels in. You want to take the combined mode hand, just grab them by the fingers and pull this out. Let's put that off to the side. The section here with the wheels, you want to rotate so they are sitting sideways like that. And then take this section and just flip it in. And I'll just tab in right there. Bring these panels in a bit so you can untab all of this. You have this panel here you want to push in and flip up. Bring in the combined mode hand. Just kind of open it up and you have this little spring-loaded deal right there and what you want to do is you just kind of want to hold this closed like that and just feed this through this opening here which sometimes is easy sometimes it's not depends on the day depends on the mood 
And today it is not in the mood. Why? Because the camera's on. That's why. It's always when the camera's on. There we, there we go. It worked with me. Thank you. Thank you. All. So once you have done that, and you have this open up in here, you want to then flip this in. And this is just a little retaining piece. And we'll just flip in like that, and that will keep that locked in place. So now that hand's not coming out. So once we've done that, we can take this and just bring it back into position. Tab this back in, and tab that back in, like so. Flip these little panels back out. And this panel now will tab onto this panel here. Again, make sure these little black panels stay out. It's easier to flip them back in. And then bring this up and over, and this will tab right back into place on either side, like so. And this piece, as you can see, is on a double hinge, so it will sit a little higher up. And there you got that done. So there is the front parts of the hand. He can tell you to stop while he's driving. Hey! Anyway. So you have that part done. So now we can work on the back part here. So I'm just going to unclip all of this, which again is not the easiest thing to get these little things unclipped. There we go. Get that unclipped. You can fold the wheels back down and just split all this. Split, split, split. There you go. Bring that out. And now we can get to work on all this. So again, you want to take this foot section here, just kind of bring that out, swing it out to the side. This panel here, you want to flip in. This panel here, you flip down. You want to flip the foot back out. Ugh, which on my copy, they're quite stiff. I'm have to loosen that screw. There we go, flip that out like so. Just bring that toe all the way down like that, and just leave it like that for now. This section here with the wheels, you're going to just untab, and just rotate that down, get that out of the way, swing this out. You want to then, well what I want to do is raise the camera so I have a little bit more room to work here. There we go, that's better. So, you want to bring the thigh out just enough so you can flip this panel in. Once you've done that, you can bring this back in, and you want to bend at the knee 90 degrees. So just bending it down like that. And then you can take the wheel here, or the section here with the wheels. You want to flatten out those hinges and then bring this up, and that'll look like that in there. Once you've done that, you can just bring this foot down and just tab that back into place like so. You want to then take this section here, swing it out, rotate it down, then swing it up, and it'll tab in right in there, like that. Open up this panel, flip that down, and there you have that side all done. And guess what? Second verse is just like the first. And once you have that done, it's just a matter of taking the two halves and connecting them together like so. Just use all those pegs, all those tabs, all those everything. Just get it all nice unsquozen like so once you've done that you want to rotate him at the waist here like so and then your elbow joint will be oriented properly and there you go there you have a cool peak in his combine mode and yeah that's an arm that sure is an arm with a hand on the hand it does have die cast in it this section of the hand is metal Get some red and blue and yellow metallic paint there. Yeah. Oh no. A good looking solid arm there. Again, a hefty arm too. This guy's definitely gonna gonna have some weight to him when he's all put together. But yeah. Nice solid combined mode arm there. I do quite like it. So there you go. So there you have Cool Peak, and yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion. The robot mode looks good, the train mode looks good, the combined mode looks good. I think he's my favorite robot mode design of the set. I really dig his robot mode design. The transformation works pretty well. A little bit of fiddle factor, but not, you know, not a bad amount, not to a frustrating degree. But, you know, all of these guys have a little bit of fiddle factor to them. 
But for the most part, they are pretty enjoyable to mess with. So yeah, teams shaping up quite, quite nicely. Five down, one to go. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Moon Studios other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Radiotron playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Moon Studio Cool Peak. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Oh, another choo-choo bot. So what's your deal? Danger. Danger's my deal. The steepest slopes, the most dangerous tracks. That's where you'll find me. Say, that's a nice mouth plate. Where'd you get it done? <sighs> what? We can only talk about battle and danger? We can't trade beauty tips?